Yo, what is up, YouTube? My bad about that. I just I just realized what turning my mic up to 100 does. But Daddy HO5 is back once more, and today I'm continuing the short series, the short saga, whatever the hell you want to call it. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, good. I'm not fucking explaining it. No, I'm just kidding. Just just check my other video. It's on screen for you. You guys like my ASMR voice? This is me crinkling a fresh five dollar bill. You like that? You fucking like that? Okay, aside from whatever the fuck that was, um, let's blow this popsicle stand. Let's, let's get right into the video. So, today we're gonna be talking about Dan Rhodes. Now, Dan Rhodes is one of these YouTubers who pretty much specifically makes YouTube shorts and is just blowing up like crazy right now. Like, this dude is damn near king of YouTube shorts. Like, I feel like probably a week or two ago, I checked and people were like, oh my god, you said 1 million subscribers. I checked today, this dude's a fucking 2 million subscribers. Which, all jokes aside, is actually pretty impressive. But regardless, Dan Rhodes Rhodes is a magic channel, right? This dude's whole shtick is that he does magic tricks under 60 seconds. Pretty simple concept. Now listen, I'm no magician. I don't know anything about magic tricks. So I'm not gonna sit here and, you know, be on my fucking high horse and be like, oh, uh, that's not real magic. If you're not literally bending the rules of the universe, uh, you're not doing real magic, okay? Biting a coin in half? Not real magic. I'm going to, uh, at least need to see you create a flood that takes out half the United States. What you call magic is simply a trick of the lens, uh, absolute child's play to, to a real sorcerer like me. That was kind of drawn out. Also, what the fuck was that character I just made? That, <laughs> that was literally like fucking Ben Shapiro mixed with Daffy Duck. I'm not exactly sure what I was going for with that one, but no, I, I'm not gonna do that. I will admit, you know, some of his, uh, some of his material is, you know, questionable. Like, come on, dude, can you even really call this magic, like, stuffing a donut inside your mouth and fucking coughing it out? Nope. Not on my watch. Call me the Magic Marshal. I'm not letting that slide. <laughs> Give me some water. But listen, he uploads like 10 times a day, and I don't even think there's that many magic tricks in existence. So like, you know, I appreciate his hustle. Not everyone is gonna be a hit. But what I can criticize is this dude's overall presence on camera and style of making videos. Like, one of the first things you notice upon watching some of this dude's videos, all of his videos contain two things. He starts the video with like a countdown sound effect. Ow. Ow. Ah. And what he'll do is he'll practice the trick while the sound effect is playing, look at the camera and go like shh or something like that. Almost like he's not even doing the trick for us, but he's doing it for somebody else. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Let's do this. Here we go. Which I guess is kind of an interesting concept, but I don't know, to me it comes off as kind of like just not really making much sense. And like him displaying the trick on us directly and just tricking us instead of like showing us how it works beforehand would be a much more enjoyable experience. Which, you know, is kind of like the entire fucking point of magic. <laughs> like if you think about it, you know, the, the thing that makes magic magic is the illusion. Like the term a magician never reveals the secrets is a thing for a reason. If he reveals the damn secret, it's a uh, not magic anymore. It, it's just a trick. I swear to fucking god, if I have to hear this song one more time, I'm gonna actually spontaneously combust. But you know, whatever. A for originality, sure. Fuck it. But what really grinds my gears is this dude's signature catchphrase, if we can call it that. After this uh, little, like, studio countdown fucking plays, this dude always goes, in every video he goes, Okay, ready? Here. We. Go. Let's. Do. This. Okay. Here. We. Go. I'm ready. Let's do this. Like, this man literally sounds like the fitness grand pastry test. With his ol. Has anybody seen me? Licky charms. Head ass. Fucking imagine if I, like, start every video like that. Like, every single video I ever made for the rest of my life. At the beginning of every video, I say, Okay. Here. We. Go. Let's. Do. This. Like, it just sounds so unnatural. Like, you could not have a more stunted, awkward delivery of something. Like, when I hear him utter this phrase, it brings me six years into the past. It fucking rips a hole in the space-time continuum and throws me through it. And it brings me back to being in the fourth grade and motherfuckers wearing Minecraft creeper hoodies and the fucking loosest fitting, baggiest target sweatpants known to man just making absolute fools of themselves. It takes me right back. It reminds me of one of them. 
Now, you know, you might be thinking to yourself now, uh, Quinn, you're really splitting some hairs here, buddy. I don't think anybody cares that much. He's a young guy. You know, he probably just doesn't have it nailed yet. And, you know, to that I say, this is not my exclusive opinion. You know, if you go in this dude's comment section, I am the voice of the people. The people agree with me on this one. 99% of the comments are talking about how awkward he is, or just generally cooking the fuck out of him. Huh? The best part about this guy showing up in my YouTube shorts is knowing that everyone in the comments is gonna roast the shit out of him. So true, Ultra Knight. So very true. Like, dude, the fucking comments are actually relentless with this kid. Mom. I did heroin and crack while pregnant. My child was completely unaffected. The child. This is the kind of guy who read joke books in elementary to make friends. <laughs> I don't know why, but that fucking reminds me, dude. There used to be, like, Minecraft joke books, and I think I read a couple of those in elementary. Maybe I'm tripping. Okay, turns out it is a real thing, and I'm not a schizoid. So, uh, let's read some of these. Why is it so hard to tell Minecraft witches apart? Because you never know which witch is which. <laughs> nah, for real though, this dude's comments are actually like a fucking war zone. Like, there's literally millions. Like, I could not cover them all in this video if I tried. Like, it would definitely exceed the, <laughs> the maximum length of a YouTube video. So just look up Dan Rhodes and go to his comment section and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is not a stretch, I'm not fucking searching far and wide, you know, going in every nook and cranny to find these comments. 90% of the comments are just making fun of this kid. Which kind of serves to confuse me more because I don't know exactly where all these subscribers are coming from, if everyone's making fun of him. Like, does this mean that, like, some amount of these people who make fun of him are, like, in it for the cringe? Like, they like the joke of how fucking bad on camera he is? If so, that's fucking wonderful for him, dude. Anyway guys, I believe my work here is done. Uh, I hope I explained the dangers of Dan Rhodes. Uh, if you see this, don't go and bully him because he's already getting bullied enough. Goodbye. Daddy H 5 signing off.